Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Kathy. How are you? Great. How are you? Happy Friday before Christmas. There you go. <laughs> 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 Yeah. yeah. Are you having yeah. everyone over at Christmas too, or? I'm halfway. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, oh, I mean, well. I, it, this year has been something else. Oh my goodness! And like, yeah. remember, I told you once before that I, uh, ever since uh, November, everything went out of control. I could not catch up. <laughs> I never did finish up my my Christmas at, at, at home. And I haven't uh, done by half of my Christmas, you know, and to think yeah. it's just a few more days. I said, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> yeah. It's going to be rush, rush, rush from now on. Right. I'm right there with you. I, I yeah. have the tree up. I was doing so so well. I mean, I had the tree up. The house is decorated. Looks good. Mm -hmm. We did all that for Thanksgiving because we knew we were having Thanksgiving at our house. And we weren't going to uh -huh. have any time after that. And then, right. uh, but as far as shopping goes, I've done uh, very little shopping. So, yes, yes. Uh, you know, oh, well. Yeah. So, I'll figure it out. And I've got my grandkids today after um, I get off uh, early. I'm meeting with my cousins that I don't get to meet with that often. So, I'm going to drip on them and, you know, Um, they're going to um, cruise, so they're meeting us for lunch, and then they're heading over to Galveston for their cruise. Oh, oh yeah. that's nice, yeah. Yeah, so it, um, no, just the sisters, it's three sisters and their spouses, uh -huh. and uh, so anyways, uh, hopefully, um, you know, so what were you doing in Vegas comes up or so what are you working on now or you know whatever and mm -hmm, if not mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell them anyway <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> just a little bit just a, a taste of, of what what I've got working on this great project that we're working on mm -hmm. uh, solution solution to the resolution there you go and, yes uh, yeah so anyways uh getting in front of people is good because i'm yeah you know, i was there uh, yeah i was there last night with david and claire oh, cool. and, and the crew uh -huh. you, it was very good very good he said he's getting a lot better than when he used to on giving presentation he's getting a oh awesome man yes good. Mm -hmm. very good yeah, yeah cause, um you know i i, I think he does a fantastic job and especially with the feedback that he gets he's very good at uh at implementing whatever changes need to be made and exactly exactly yeah mm -hmm. so he's got he's doing a fantastic job of tweaking it and getting it just right so mm -hmm. yeah and, yeah. and he's emily. the energy so oh yeah what about emily no she was there her husband yeah. and her kid too uh-huh there was a group uh, also there that um, I hadn't met before. It was it turned out very nice. Uh huh. Good. Had a very nice good. group. Did mm -hmm. uh, did do y'all have any guests or you know, about how many guests were there? Uh, I don't. I I'd say maybe three or four. Okay. Maybe five. Okay. Uh huh. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, a gentleman that Claire knew that uh, was in it before, but then he quit. But then he realized that he needed the triangle of health, and he came back. So good. Uh huh. I can't remember his name. Uh, I know, but um, I know if Claire's here, she'll tell you. No, was, it, was that her guess? No, it uh, no. It was just somebody he knew before. Oh, okay. Gotcha. She knew, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Um, the, um, were you on Power Hour last night? In the last 30 minutes, yeah, when I got home, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure as far as the timing and everything, how that was going to work out. But um, Power Hour was pretty awesome. And, um, you know, the, I mean, they got back from Vegas and they, uh, they being um, Casey, David, and Tara, you know, getting back from Vegas and, and taking some of those key takeaways and putting them into action. And one of the things is um, it's a, it's through Facebook, Facebook Messenger, <laughs> and it sends out messages. And um, mm -hmm. uh, um, I forgot what it's called, mini messages or something. Yeah. And, uh, anyway, so they implemented that. I put the link on there on our Accountable Achievers page. So that way mm -hmm. we can get our uh, like our tickets for the next event in January. Right. The ticketed event, and they've got it all tied together, where it's a real simple process and uh, an easy way of getting getting our tickets instead of um, you know David driving all over town and handling it like that. So. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, I don't know exactly how the tickets get to. Oh, I guess they mail them. Yeah, because it, he said something about our address. So, <laughs> oh, anyway. okay, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, so that's good. It'll you know save gas money, time, energy, and all that to get the tickets to us. And you know, it, as simple as just pushing this button and doing it all yourself instead of having some somebody have to man that. Um, and send out all those messages one at a time. So they're right. taking advantage of the systems that are out there, the technology mm -hmm. that's out there, which is what we all need to be doing. So uh, we're all learning. And Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> just know that it doesn't stop. You know, if you're standing still, you're going backwards. So just keep on learning every day. And, yes. Uh, yeah. And that goes for, for working your business too. If you think you're going to stop over the holidays, it will think you're you're thinking wrong. You're going to be going backwards if you stop. You got to keep going forward. Keep forward, going, uh -huh, keep absolutely. Forward. Yeah, well, Claire's on and Jacob is on. Awesome. So, uh, Claire, how was Morning. last night? Eva was telling me how great last night was. Did y'all have a lot of That's guests cute. or? It had us, I didn't, my guest did not show up. Um, and uh, however, it was a slow start because they had to change venues. They had a, uh, at the very last minute, the restaurant, apparently the restaurant they originally booked, they thought they had a, a private room. And uh, when they got there, uh, it was two tables in the middle of the restaurant. And oh. so uh, I could see, I had to, I got there and then David Jones was just throwing stuff in this pissed off. And I was like, okay, we're going to make this happen fine. He goes, well, we're going next door to Rudy's. I said, what can I do to help? He goes, can you t send a message out? Poor Emily. Emily was, you know, trying her best. But after all, just like I kept saying, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. But they're looking at me like, you're crazy, Claire. It's going to be fine. And, <laughs> uh, you know, we get to, you know, next door because the place was just next door. And, Turned out the barbecue place had this room with the TV, and it was it was perfect for the um, event. So um, it worked out just like it was supposed to. Right, exactly, and <laughs> uh, and I guess uh, you know we we were ready to get things ready because it was already almost it was like ten minutes till seven when I got there, so it was started at seven. So it was 
it was a, a interesting event. It was fun. Uh, Eva won the ugliest sweater. So Eva <laughs> had the ugliest sweater. For the um, we did exchange gift exchanges. Uh, you know, um, white elephant and yeah. um, ticket. So that was fun. I haven't scratched them yet. So maybe I should do that today. Um, <laughs> But for the most part, you know, I got to meet a couple of the big, my whole purpose of going was to bring a guest, but when I found out my guests were not going, instead of saying, you know what, I'm not going to go, I felt like I needed to um, do some cross networking with the other teams and uh, felt like it was really nice. I met a guy that was on uh, David Jones' teams for almost a year and a half, and he lives in Brenham, and he, he's coming back to try to get back on fire and motivate it. So we had yeah. good conversations. Um, and then I met Tara. She spells the same way as Tara, but I think she's pronounced as Tara. And she is um, a Girl Scout uh, leader, and she's already a business partner, and she's trying to get her feet wet and trying to understand. I said, hey, you know, bring me on Facebook, and if you ever have any questions, you know, please feel free to reach out to me. And um, yeah. so I feel like I did accomplish something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Helping well, and that's what we do when we're at these events and stuff like that. Make sure that instead of just us huddling in our own little group and, you know, chatting and, you know, whatever, that if you see the work that needs to be done out there, do the work, go out, you know, because it's going to come back to you when, you know, when, when we're in that situation and, and maybe we've got some other team, you know, Tara's team and, and David's team out there and, you know, don't you want them to step up and, and have those conversations with your team, you know, cause, cause you're one person we need to spread out and, and, uh, and help each other. And so I think that, you know, Casey's always trained it that way. And I think it's a, you know, it's just a win-win when, when you've got everybody working together and, uh, and save any of the questions that you might have for, or tips that you might have for the next presentation or whatever, save all that for a time when you're one-on-one -on -one with your business partners, um, you know, instead of um, when they're trying to reach out to their customers or potential customers. So, um, or so business I partners. Think it, was, it was a success. I had slow start but for it was a good success it was a success and I also extended an invite to Emily if we do have an event after Christmas I told you know if you have anybody in spring we may have we're planning on doing something after Christmas and she oh good yeah. she was really appreciative because Tara wasn't there it was just her and David and um her few guests that did come yeah okay yeah Tara was on uh shooters and um uh, and power hour. So I think she may have been working on something for, um, you know, kind of all the way to the last minute on putting that um, stuff together, funnels and things like that, that she's working on. Um, you know, Casey gave her, um, you know, kudos yesterday for all the work that she's doing behind the scenes. Um, and the hours that she's putting in for, you know, building these funnels and, and, um, you know, using the technology that, you know, even the new stuff that she learned in Vegas. So, uh, you know, so it'll help all of us. So anyway, so that's probably a little of why she wasn't there. So. Who else do we have on? Uh, you know, Jake, I meant to ask is if Jake can hear us. If I meant to ask him how did his, um, who do you know? How's that going? The, um, you know, getting, getting started on that. I know he was talking about it. Yeah, Kathy, can you hear me? Yeah, there you are. Sure. It went, uh, it went good. So, you know, I, I got done what I wanted to get done and just educate the guy on the product uh, just very briefly. And, and I don't go into a lot of details on like the science or ingredients or anything. I basically just show them, hey, here's the system that we have, simple, natural, organic food product. 
really easy to take, and these are the types of people that will benefit from this. And then I also show them, you know, like really quickly, just that, that we have skincare and that we also have protein products. So it went well. Uh, I didn't get any re direct referrals out of it, but I don't really expect that either. Basically, what I want to do is plant the seed in that person's mind. And in this case, the guy is already involved in a, a business that's a network marketing model, except it's for real estate. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the brokerage called EXP Realty, but that's actually yeah. a that's actually a network marketing model real estate business. So yeah. he's he's involved in that. So he's already um, he's already embracing the network marketing industry. And so we ended up having a really good chat about just this industry in general and building a team and retention and all that stuff. But the fact that he now knows what the product is and that's something that's on his radar is really right. all that I was trying to accomplish. And he even said to okay. me, he's like, you know, he's, he's a pretty active guy on social media. He does a lot of posts and whatnot. So he's like, man, I get so many people that reach out to me about their network marketing opportunities and stuff. And he's like, if I tried all the products with this, with everybody that I knew, like I would be broke. Like the guy makes good money, but he was basically just saying he can't try every product that, you know, is shown to him. And, right. and that's okay with me. So I, I achieved the main thing was just going out there and educating him. And now hopefully when he comes across somebody that may use it, that might be something that he, that he speaks about. Right. And there's, there's kind of two different angles to that. I mean, well, there's really three different angles. There's the angle that you're educating them and they may want to use the product or maybe somebody they know. There's the angle that they may be interested in the business, um, even though you haven't really told them about that. And then there's also the fact that you're just getting experience, you're getting out of your comfort zone, you're having that conversation that most people are kind of afraid to have in the first place. And if you just go and start doing that from an education basis throughout people that you know, you're going to be a lot more comfortable. I guarantee if you do 10 of those, you know, like the coffee shop interview is a great way to lead into something like this. Coffee shop interview gets you out of your comfort zone and just gets you out of your routine and gets you focused on actually going out there, having conversations, getting involved with people, finding out what's going on in their world. And that, this is kind of a next step to that. It's like, okay, I've already invested time into getting to know this person. Hopefully, you know, I, I took some notes or I remember some things about them and their family and what's going on with them. This is an opportunity to catch up with those people, but also be intentional and, and share with them that little bit, especially if they didn't make it to one of the events from our campaign before. If they didn't make it, you can go and just say, hey, you know what? I know you didn't make it to the event. Do you mind if I show you, uh, you know, a little bit about what we're working on? Put the focus on the product. And, and ultimately, you're killing two birds with one stone. You're getting an exposure done that may turn into something that may not but you're also getting experience and you're forcing yourself to get that little bit more out of your comfort zone. So it, it went well to answer your question. I'm looking forward to doing more of it. Good, good. Um, so tell me, it, what would be a good, um, what appro approach would you take in my situation today with my cousins, okay? My cousins know that I've always been in network marketing. They yeah. have always been very wealthy and uh -huh. they always have looked down on, you know, the Houston area people, cousins, because we're so poor that we have to do all these extra things. I, <laughs> I, set, <laughs> I set one of them straight one time and said that I choose to do these things it you know keeps my um, uh, it keeps me learning and it uh, and I enjoy it and it's a it, you know it's a branch off of what I normally do. Anyways, um, they know that I, that it's health and wellness. Yeah. Because one of the girls tried it and said, "Oh, it tastes so bad," and yeah. I told her, "Big girl panties on." 
But um, the other two have not tried it. And one, um, every time that we've had, well, just uh, for instance, when I was in Vegas and we did the watch party. Yeah. So, okay, so that's your audience. So I, what do I do today during lunch? Just visit with them and ask them questions about them? I think you cut off there. You said one of them watched the watch party? Yes, yeah. Are you talking you about the, the GoPro watch party? Yes. Okay. Did they say anything? No. Oh, okay. Well, then that doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. Because okay. there's no engagement, you know? Well, do you know how long they watched it for? Like, were they watching it for a long time? I don't uh, I don't know. How can you tell? She, I think she put a post out there. I'll have to look. Okay. You can't really tell unless you're actually, like, Unless you're you're paying attention to who is on the watch party as it's happening, that's the yeah. only way you can really tell. Because if you go oh, back okay. and watch the recording, I don't think it's going to tell you who's on and how long they're on for it. You have to notice that live. So okay. what's the setting? I mean, are you just getting together as family today or what, what's happening? We're just going to lunch. Uh, they're on their way to um, from Tyler to Galveston to hop on a cruise. Oh. For, for the holiday, and so they agreed to meet uh, my sister and I for lunch. So. Okay. Well, why if if that's their attitude towards you and your family, my question is, why do you continue to see them? Why do you hang out with them? Like, there's got <laughs> there's got to be something because it's not like they're your sister. So there there's got to be something there that somehow keeps you guys, you know, getting along at least, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're a step up from the other cousins. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. They're not meeting with the other cousins, but but they do. You know, they. Um, you know, so I I think I can tell them. You know, just some of the things that we have going on. You know, what as far as you know, working on the house on Robinson and and that sort of thing, and then and listening to what they have going on. And then, you know, if the question comes up with, you know, so what were you in Vegas for? Or, um, yeah. Then it, would you say, it, you know, what did you say yesterday? You're, that was perfect yesterday with the, you know, training to um, get retired. Uh, yeah, I mean, just tell them if if they don't really know anything about it, I would just tell them you're uh, you're preparing for your early retirement and you're going to get training to build your business to that level. Okay. Okay. That's in my opinion, though. That's not if somebody has money, they're not going to care about that. They're just going to be like, "Oh, good for you!" Like, right? Why do you need to even do that, right? So yeah. it's I if think it was me. The health end, end of it was really why I wanted them to get, I wanted them to get on the products because especially uh, one of my, the one that I told her to put her big girl panties on because she was like, I, their mom died of lung cancer and, uh, yeah. you know, and my mother died of cancer and my <laughs> other aunt yeah. died of cancer. So, you know, <laughs> so I wanted, uh, yeah, I feel like everybody needs our products. Well, every, the truth is that everybody does, but the other truth is that not everybody wants it, right? And right. so my opinion, since they clearly don't care about the money <laughs> and one has already tried the product and didn't really like the way it tastes, <clears throat> these are probably not going to be people that you can, that you can, I don't, I, I don't like using the word sell, but it's basically sell. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think yeah. you're going to be able to sell them on what the product is. To be honest, nobody cares what the product is. They care about what the product does. And also, nobody cares about what the product does if that's not something that they're dealing with. So right. you, with them, <laughs> I think you just have to, you have to look for what, what is the thing? What is the hook? What are they dealing with? that we could actually help with. What are they dealing with that they're not yeah. happy about? And you have to look for that. Because if you just say, hey, try my product, that won't right, work. Right. 
that will work so, for someone. And especially like if they didn't know you were in network marketing and there wasn't this whole history, that's different. Yeah. But since this is family, they know you do network marketing. They're not a fan of it. One's already tried the product. I don't think it would make any sense to try and use any sort of approach where it's like, hey, would you try this? Or, hey, wouldn't you like to feel better or whatever? You got to let them tell you what the problem is. Right. So that's what I'm saying. So today's practice, and I'm going to treat it as a practice with family, is just to, you know, do that forming, asking questions yeah. about them and what they exactly. have going on. Ask and great then, questions. Yeah. Okay. So. And even if you know there's been family history of cancer, you can be a little bit on the bold side and use that as a question. Just say, hey, you know what? I've been thinking about some of the people we've lost from cancer and this and that. Do you guys ever worry about that? Just ask yeah. them that. Ask them yeah. if they're doing anything, you know? Right. Have they, have they ever looked into uh, what helps prevent cancer or anything? And whatever. That's just an idea. But if okay. that's. First off, it probably is something that they do worry about. And secondly, they probably don't spend a lot of time thinking about what they could actually do. Because most people are just kind of floating around thinking that there's nothing you can do, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if nothing else, that will at least get the conversation going in that direction. Okay. Cool beans. All right, guys. I'm going to thank you very much, Jake. I'm going to uh, jump off. Y'all can keep talking if you'd like, but uh, it's just me and my boss in the office today. Yay. So it looks like he's already in there. The lights are on. So y'all have a terrific day. Has he tried the product? My boss? Yeah. No. no. Oh, does, he have, does he have a wife? <laughs> he's old and grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> he's old and grumpy. His, uh, I tried to switch it to four it didn't, didn't happen. Good nutrition helps with grumpy. Yes. <laughs> All right, Kathy, yeah. see you later. All right. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> hey, Michelle, I'm going to stop by your office today, your place today, if you're going to be there. I need to drop off the, the uh, triangle that I borrowed from you. I think she took herself off, uh, off of mute. I can't hear, but oh, okay. Anyway, if you hear me, hopefully, or text me if it's okay. Oh, there she is. Yeah, yeah. my headphones, I guess, aren't working. Um, I am actually in bed sick, but Bailey will be there. Um, so you can go ahead and drop it off. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I can okay. do it another day. I was, you know, it's not a big deal. I just thought you might need it. So. No, nope, I don't. I'm good. Okay. Well, then I will make okay. it another day then. No, no worries. Sounds good. Sounds I hope great. I didn't know you were still sick. Oh, my gosh. I, know. I just started feeling like crap yesterday again. So, Oh, my, my goodness. Swollen and my bones started hurting last night. So I am staying in bed today. Good for you. Yeah. It's yeah. the best thing to do. No, Let I your know. body rest, yeah. I'm going to have to. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. yeah. my body's way of forcing me to stay down. So anyways, well, hopefully things will still, I'm still um, sending out messages and everything. So I'll be working from my bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you, you, you go ahead and do what you need to do, right? Yeah. We'll pray for you to get better too. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you all have a good weekend. And Thank you, Michelle. Sure. You too. Thanks, everybody. Call in right. on Monday. Sounds good. So, do we have a call on Monday? I'm working Monday, so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yep. I'm good. Tuesday probably sound good. I have withdrawals when we don't have them, so I'm I'm open for every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. Y'all have a have good a weekend. Have a great day, everybody. You Bye. 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 Bye.